Today we're going to talk about how to produce a great articulation on trombone, euphonium, and tuba. I'm going to demonstrate on trombone, but all of these techniques are things that you can use on any low brass instrument. Uh, first of all, we want to make sure that we're starting the note with the tongue using a certain syllable that doesn't come through our teeth. I like to use syllables like toe, like the toe on your feet, right? Uh, or dough, like bread dough or Homer Simpson dough, to remind ourselves of, to easily remind ourselves of what it feels like to play this great tongue articulation. Uh, so first of all, I'm just going to think about toe or dough and blow the air as steadily and consistently as possible past the articulation. Now that, now that I've got that great idea of airflow, I'm going to try the same thing on the instrument, still without the buzz. Listening for that nice, consistent, airy sound and a little separation. Now I'm going to do it over a long tone. for that same nice separated quality but still almost connected. We're just trying to flick the tongue in the way for a split second. Listen one more time. Once you feel comfortable with this idea, start mixing in some different kinds of slurs and articulations. Any of the following two exercises or variants on these would be great things to practice this great tongue articulation, toe or dough. Note that the last note is no longer a tongue articulation but a lip slur. Here's another idea you can use. By applying this mixed idea of slurs and articulations, what we do when we practice articulation starts to look more like the music we see in our solos, uh, small ensembles, and instrumental music classes.